Hi friends, today I'm training on a new kata, shortest code, special factor. Uh, in this kata, you are given a number, and what you have to do is first, you have to convert this number to a binary string, then check if this binary string contains all of the real factors. So let me give you an example. So first example is if the number is 6, so it has a factor, it has these factors 1, 2, 3 and 6. Then you convert it to binary string, so n is 110 in binary or 110, and these factors are like 1, 10, 11 and 110, and all of them are found inside this bigger uh, inside this bigger n, right? So how, how that works? So 1 is 1, so you can find 1 in this 110. Uh, 2 is 10, or 10, and you have 10 inside 110. Uh, 3 is uh, 11, and you have 110, or 110, in 110. So that's all three of them. Right? Oh, sorry, all four of them, since the, like the, the number itself is always going to be included, right? And uh, uh, in addition to that, uh, let's try example number two. So example number two is uh, n is equal to 15, and it's, it's converted to 1111, and the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. So if you would look at the factors converted to binary strings, they are 1, uh, 11, uh, sorry, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 15. Uh, so out of all of them, 1, 0, 1 are not, it's not, it's not inside this 1, 1, 1, 1, right? It's not inside the binary 15. Uh, so that means the binary 5 or like 5 should be filtered out. Uh, it, it, it's, it is pretty, pretty confusing, I agree, and it, they say it's like 6, like level 6 or 6q kata. Uh, in my opinion it's, it's harder, usually it's um, like uh, 5q katas are this hard. So I would say it's a little bit too hard for level six, but what what you can never be like very precise in these uh, in these calculations, right? So let's try to solve it. Okay. First of all, uh, I'm given I'm just starting the usual function, and my parameter I'm going to name it n since it's a number. Okay. Then. Uh, I, I really want to start with every single number from uh, from this initial from this initial from initial like one to uh, to let's say to, to this like n number itself so I'm just going to create an, a new array and I'm going to spread out that's created by this array this array constructor probably uh, this function, at least this function, right? This function array creates an empty array, but still, to get the keys, you, you can use the keys on on this uh, on this array to get the actual keys, right? Then finally, uh, I'm adding the n itself since it's it's not going to be included. And this will gives me like, you know what? Let's let's just return this thing. Let's see what it is. Okay, so let's run examples. Let's see what it is. Oh, I I typed an arrow there. I should have typed just equal. And look, what what I have right here is all the numbers from zero till and including the n. Right, so 0 up to like uh, 6 for the first one, 15 for the second one, 100 for the third one, and you can see like uh, 
in thousands for the last one, right? So I, I got this thing, right? It's an array. Let's try to figure out how best to filter it, right? Since I, I got everything, right? Just need to filter it. So first of all, I want to filter I want to filter out just the factors. Okay, how do I get the factors? Actually pretty easy. You just try to divide the n by these like all of his numbers one by one and you want to make sure that they are equal to zero, right? Uh, I, you might be wondering, okay, so you will get infinity if you try to divide by zero, but I don't care about it, infinity is still not equal to one, so that's that's all gonna work. Let's try, let's try to return that, let's see what we got. Okay, that's better, look, I got two of my tests passing, that's a good, that's good news, right? So first one is, yes, all the factors, like none of them should be filtered out. We, we checked that in example one, all of them are included. Let's, let's see example two. So example two, you can see the factor five should be excluded, but it is not because we don't have like, uh, we're just checking this one filter. And we should we should probably be having two filters, right? Let's add another filter to filter out these numbers which are not included in the binary representation of n in the binary representation of the factors themselves. Okay, so <laughs> that's that's really hard uh, hard for me to uh, to have these concepts right I, you might be wondering okay so is, is this maps right but it's there is some maps in it so first of all how do I get how do I get this binary representation of n actually really easy just type to string and give it two for binary if you want uh, like like octo numbers or hex numbers you can do 16 or 8 and you 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 can get like all kinds of like um, different types of uh, uh, number scales right so I have this string right here it is a string right now okay so I want this string I want to check if this string in itself has the representation for each of those uh, each of those like uh, numbers but again in of fac factors but in they have to be in binary right because it won't make any sense to try to find two inside one 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 right so I need to check if it includes this this thing and luckily we have the includes function for strings right not only for arrays we have it for strings as well so I need to check if it includes and what what should it include actually the V again converted to binary so V converted to binary is V to string again 2 and that would check if that includes it and filter out every single thing that's not included. Let's try that. Alright, so looks like all seven tests are passing. Uh, this code is like not not super optimized, but we have we have a really generous limit of 110 characters, so uh, I'm not going to try to make it any smaller. You might be you, you the first thing is what you could do. Like okay Let's do that. You know, uh, you could you could just take uh, this thing, and if that's true, only then do this check, right? So do and right here. You would just be using one filter. However, this way I think it's more readable, and that's uh, that's I I don't really want to make this code as short as possible. I want just to pass the character limit but uh, make it readable too okay so that's that's it let's try the official attempt see if that works 
and yes looks like it's working we are all good to go so you know what let's try let's try to add it uh, to add this second check right inside this one filter function let's try to optimize the code a little bit so this one has to be true let's wrap it uh, with parentheses just in case and this one has to be true let's try again again it still works all tests are passing so I guess this is the best solution uh, this one you can probably keep it in one line it's not so long uh, so that's how you solve this kata I hope that you learned something and see you in the next kata bye friends